Hello, this is Christy, and in this quick tutorial, I will show you how you can import an image sequence from your hard drive, a sequence of images, into Premiere and create an animation from it. If you have created a sequence of animations or drawings, or maybe you use um, this for 3D rendering software that you render frame by frame, and you have several hundred or thousands frames, and you would like to combine those frames into a video, then you can use this in Premiere to import all those images, create a sequence and add it to your timeline and then create animations and videos from it. So I have here a sequence of images that I created for a introduction for a video for a brand. It's like a logo, animated logo. And it's a sequence of about 180 images. And if I cycle through them in my image program, you can see that uh, frame by frame they are creating this name, this type, uh, this written name, uh, sort of like a handwritten name. It doesn't really matter. So all of these images are individual images on my hard drive. So how do I get these into Adobe Premiere to animate them? So let's have a look at that right now. So in Premiere, I have a blank project here and I would like to first import those images. So in my uh, project panel, I have no clips here, so I can right click on this and say import. And now I will see this folder where I have those images on the disk. You see them all in order. So this is very important. Your images have to have the same name plus a number to indicate the sequence. So all you have to do really is just click on the first image in the sequence. Don't select all of them. Just click on the first one. And then in this uh, dialog box, you can import, you can click the box image sequence to tell um, Premiere to look for extra images after this first one to look for other images that have roughly the same name and put them in order and import all of them. Right. So we tick this box, click open. And in a couple of seconds, it's as imported the um, animation with the first name of the file and it removed um, it just gave the first, the name of the the um, sequence. The, the name of the clip is actually the first frame, but it actually cre uh, contains all of the frames. You can see here that it has uh, media and it's a seven, uh, seven seconds or so and the duration. So what I have to do now is just uh, if I double click on this to open it in my viewer, I can play it. We can see that my animation is running smoothly. If I want to include this in my sequence, I can just create a sequence from uh, this clip. So right click on this new sequence from clip and I can now edit this animation just like any regular video uh, straight into Premiere here. So um, you can use this, uh, for example, if this one is a transparent GIF, so all the images, transparent PNG files, they are transparent. So they have an alpha channel. So you can actually put something um, in the behind it, you know, so this animation and it works on top of other video clips. So uh, I don't know. Let me just try to do an example. If I import a, a video clip here onto my project and just pull this down, uh, maybe onto my timeline. And I need to make sure that my animation is on the top. So I'll just move it on the top here. You can see that my animation is actually running and playing on top of the video. So this is a very nice way to create um, animated logos and animated illustrations and uh, 3D renderings and things like that, which you can import in your project and use them uh, uh, like this. So this is very easy to do. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.